I feel as though I'm required to issue a warning before this video takes place. The people I'm about to show you are incredibly tough, incredibly ferocious, incredibly badass, and they are not people that you will want to mess with. Please tell me why this is necessary in Marion IA. Is that IA? Is that Iowa? I don't know. I don't know my states. But he's in a subway. What, <laughs> what are you expecting to go down in a subway, sir? You got, you got four handguns. Four. You only got two hands. I can just imagine this guy getting ready to go to his little subway trip. About to walk out the door. Keys, wallet, phone. Uh, four hand- where's my four handguns? Oh, I've almost forgot them. Goes upstairs, straps four handguns to himself and proceeds to walk to Subway. Hey friends, remember when I OK boomed a climate change denier who emailed me? Well, he replied, and I am absolutely screaming. I'm 50 snowflake! I own five companies in Texas and make a shitload of money. I pay taxes, work out, bang my wife and an animal? Bang my wife an animal. Your wife is an animal? That might be that might be a little bit illegal. Have healthy relationships and basically live like a rock star without having to get on stage. I also have the intelligence to look at both sides of an argument and figure out the real facts. Meanwhile, you are an average income in brackets, basically broke reporter in brackets, fake news, who blames people like me for your problems and shortcomings. Bottom line is your parents spoiled your ass and you think you know it all. If you were my son, I would slap the shit out of you. R slash the Donald mods are very badass. Closing room Remarks, this mod cannot be threatened. I can still I can still carry. And I'd love to show any one of you my skills. Is this what is this what America's like? They're just like, oh, I can still carry. I'd love I love I love for you to I love for you to do something to me so I can shoot you and kill you. Insane country. It, it doesn't exist. It's a myth. Some asshole in Walmart asked me why I was going down the wrong side of the aisle and why I wasn't wearing a mask. I said, because this is America, you spineless fuck, and don't let your fit interfere with my freedom. A birthday well wish escalates to there will be consequences. Who are you and why are you posting on her wall? Huh? This is her man! And I'm not gonna ask you again, why are you posting on her wall? I wrote happy birthday, bud. I send birthday wishes to everyone on my list. You should try it. Never know who needs a boost. They might be stuck with some miserable possessive arsehole. Fuck you. I, there's, um, there's a few slurs here that I'm gonna need to completely blur up. Anyway, fuck you. She doesn't need your wishes. Unfriend her immediately or there will be consequences. You're a pathetic bitch boy. And then like what seems like maybe a few minutes later or maybe he's, he's, he, there's a gap here so he's, he's had some time to think about his next message. I could take you, <laughs> you easy. Yeah, balls deep. Some dude just called me a pussy for putting on sunscreen. Imagine thinking you're tougher than the sun. The fucking sun. His daughter took a laptop home from school to message a boy so he decides to shoot the laptop that wasn't even his property. Can't my, I, I was I tried to do an American accent there, but wow, that was just that was just embarrassing. Caught my daughter messaging boys on a school computer she wasn't supposed to be bringing home. Turns out Max don't take 40 cal for- What? <laughs> It's like a 40 caliber. That's quite big. That, cause all, all, the only thing I know about that is like Barrett 50 cal on Call of Duty. Barrett 50 cal. That big. That was a big bullet. 40 cal. Well, that's, that's like that's like 20 percent lower than 50 cal. That's still quite a lot. So what is it? What kind of lesson are you trying to teach your daughter here? It's not her laptop. She's facing no consequence for this. You're the one that's going to be facing the consequence for this when her school sees this on Facebook and makes you pay for a new MacBook. I go to Starbucks solely to see the embarrassment in the eyes of the grown man who orders a low-fat iced latte frap through through blah blah when he looks up and sees me taking a sip of my straight black coffee with no cream or sugar yes that is so manly god i cannot think of anything more manly than than, than drinking the most disgusting drink you could possibly order are there still people out there that are like oh look I'm drinking like nice drinks and, and cocktails and stuff that's well gay i just drink beer are there people actually like that still because i drink cocktails all the time and not once have i been told i'm gay maybe it's because i live in london if, if i lived in the country maybe maybe a farmer might come up to me and call me gay for for drinking a, a porn star martini i would just like all you liberals to know if biden does get elected into office and he defunds the police Nothing will stop me from shooting your guys' heads off two miles away with my silence rifle. Trump 2020, baby. Why? 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 You're just showing off your murderous tendencies. Also, two miles. Two miles. Do you realize how far two miles is? I had a guy come up to me in the pub a few weeks ago and tell me about his military escapades that never happened. He told me he was in, like, the Marines or, or some shit. He, he wasn't. He told me about this time he, he shot a guy in the head from two miles away. It didn't happen. I didn't tell him this because he was quite a scary man. He's like one of them scary old men in pubs. I didn't dare question his stories. And then, he, and then he told me he was a spy. Probably the most indiscreet spy ever. Also, he he said he knew the craze. So that was really just the, just the icing on the cake. When you go heavy on the tip and they go light on the alcohol. Ah, uh, yes.
Whoa, he's angry. That is me when I get served watered down drinks in bars in London. I give the bartender a proper wallop across the bar. 14 year old kid cries after getting shot at. What a wimp. He hid and cried. Glad you're unarmed, but Brennan, please don't ever become a law enforcement officer or join the military. Christ. Well, he's 14 and someone shot at him, so that's, that's, that's a common reaction for a kid. But I'd fucking cry if someone shot at me. I'd cry if someone shot a mean look in my direction. <laughs> what? One day I'm gonna, <laughs> one day I'm gonna just say fuck it all and let my demon out to play and that, that'll be a, that'll be a scary day for humanity my friends are necessarily hostile thermometer in the backyard patio. that is a very that's the most threatening thermometer i think i've ever seen in my life what is it with a lot of american houses like these these gun toting americans that just feel the need to threaten everyone for no fucking like they're just going about their day walking past this house they look and they're just being threatened they're being warned that you've been warned they're being warned they're just walking past your house what is it with this need to threaten all the time time i can deadlift at least 100 kilos <laughs> easy and i'm only 14 is that good i don't know if that's good i'm gonna i'm gonna take it as that's unrealistically good my dad's snapchat post last night come and get i don't want what the fuck is that is that are those olives with spaghetti bolognese what the fuck is that cheese on toast next what the, that's an odd combination of food a cigarette <laughs> an ashtray yeah I, I want i want everything that's on that table oh fucking hell what is this Right, what exactly are you preparing for, Jacob? Why are you wearing a bulletproof vest that doesn't even cover half your body? Ah! Ah! Please stop. Stop! Ah! Ah! Stop! <laughs> the demons are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Co-worker's boyfriend's profile pic UK, so that's 100% a BB gun. This is my peace, my serenity, my escape. Don't mess with it. <laughs> People in the armed forces, what's the story behind your nickname? Blackout. I tend to go blackout and go full rage mode when, <laughs> when in live combat. I have 100 plus recorded kills and use a pocket knife and I don't remember one of them. Yeah, all right, sure, mate, sure. My dad eats breakfast <laughs> like this. Or just in case your mum decides to say something a bit out of pocket and hurt his feelings. What, what, why? Who around the breakfast table is going to threaten him to a point where he takes their life? Fucking hell. People don't realise how mentally damaged us gym rats are. Like, bro, we move weight which could kill us for fun. Oh, you're so scary. Oh, oh no. Shut up. Accidentally added the wrong guy on Facebook. Guess I'm a coward now. Who is this? Sorry, man. I think I added the wrong guy. Take care. Lol, I bet. Fucking cowards. <laughs> Make him a fucking coward. First thing the government ate. Why am I doing a proper British accent there? He's, this man is obviously not British. First thing the government agency when they knock on my door for forced vaccine. No one's. I don't. I don't think there's forced vaccinations. Also, I don't think you're gonna shoot. So I don't think you're gonna commit murder over that and go to prison for the rest of your life, are you? Burglar points gun at me. All right, buddy, just show me where your valuables are and I won't hurt you. Me, ha, sure thing. Alexa, call the police. Alexa, shuffling songs by the police. Roxanne plays as I get shot. 16 times and then uh the, the the page being libertarian posted it with a caption the lesson maybe protect your home with a gun exercise your second amendment rights and it more like isn't it like a thing of it like it's, if you have a gun in your house you're more likely to kill yourself or like a member of your family than an actual intruder so yeah very safe Oh, so you're gonna come out in your, in your fucking army clothes with your German shepherd and let your dog maul them. All right, sure, pal. I'm not afraid of you. I'll be rude to your fucking wife if I want to. I was just ready to die. Man beaten after confronting men for not wearing masks. Try and make me wear a mask and the same thing will happen. I don't have to do what you tell me and I also don't have to explain my reasoning. I mean, do, do you really have to beat a man almost to death? To get your point across, well, shut up! Oh, I can already imagine the caption just just from the pose, the looking down solemn pose in the in the army gear. Come in peace. I didn't bring artillery, but I am pleading with you with tears in my eyes. If you fuck with me, I'll kill you all. Ah! Oh my god, there is literally no atheist. I couldn't. Ah! 
absolutely destroyed. I'm 6'5", hit the gym four times a week. My primary motivator is my faith. Try me, you SpongeBob armed little fucks. That has to be satire. That that has to be satire. Watch who you trust. I mean, I don't think a bullet from that tiny gun is going to go through two car doors, is it? Okay, so someone called Glenn Danzig posted on Facebook. I was hacked. Anything that was posted in the last month was not me. I don't smoke weed. I don't eat hot dogs. And I definitely don't eat my own cum. Yeah, sure, pal. You're sounding a little bit, a little bit defensive. I mean, there's nothing wrong to it. Just, just, just own up to it, pal. When I find the piece of shit that did this, and I will, they will pay the ultimate price. And he's attached a picture of him looking, looking very menacing. That hacker, that I bet that hacker is very scared right now. Was that, why did he say I don't eat hot dogs? As if that was like some kind of outrageous allegation made against him. That he, that he felt he needed to address. Right, anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.